Okay, so I have um, liquid ink here in a ball. That's black ink. If you want to have a lighter ink, you can mix it directly from your bowl or you can um, set up other dishes and make lighter ink, all right? I have water, I have paper. Ideally, it should be rice paper. Paper holder here so it doesn't move around. I have an ink cake, which is compressed ink. There's no um, glue in this, this comes handy. My uh, trusty flow brush, original flow brush, fine line brush. Okay. I'm going to show you how to paint the elements, the different um, subjects in our Japanese landscape. These guys stay muted. So I'm taking my clean and dry flow brush. If you are um, not comfortable to make your uh, lines with a flow brush, you can use your detail brush, right? And dipping it into black ink getting rid of all the extra. And I want this to be black. I'm gonna get the uh, boat itself. And I'm going to start with an upright, straight up and down brush. And I'm going to press so I can get the width of the boat. Okay, so press. Lift, come back a little bit so that my tip is into where I just painted. Okay. And then estimate where I want my mast. And just do a little line here. We call this a nail head, a little vertical line like that. And if I wanted to do my mast in outline, I can keep using my flow brush and make this rectangular form like this. Right? And using thick and thin strokes, I like that I made it wider here because um, it gives some variety to the eye, plus maybe my sun's here and that um, forms a little shadow. Like that. Finish up where the mast would come out, just there. Okay. And there's my boat. If I wanted to make it just even a little bit more detail, just a tiny little line like that. And I could show it in the water by taking some water and getting the black off my brush. Here's my water, dip it in. And then here, get the black color because black ink that's liquid, very, very strong. So get rid of some of it. Come in with a lighter tone because this would be the reflection of the boat in the water. So I'm just a little line here for the boat, the mast, and then the shape of the canvas. Okay. Now, if I were to do this in Makutsu style, which means no outlines, I take my brush, use my black ink again. And this time I'm using my detail brush. Okay, so I'm going to make it smaller. Make a little um, boat, same, similar or similar uh, position in the water. Press, lift, come back, do the shape of the boat. Here's the mast. So 
switch to my combination You're brush. Off your paper as far as the thank you. Can we see now here? Okay. I've done the same strokes that I did here, right? Dark for the boat and then dark for the mast. I switch to my wider brush and dipped it into medium ink. So remember the, the Japanese um, boats um, have the, the canvas going vertical, but if you want to do it the Chinese junk way, you just come in and do this horizontal. So we'll do it Japanese style, press, press. There. Just three simple strokes and then come back with your fine line brush, finish up the mast like that. And you can have it come in that way, right? There's your boat. Give you a little shadow. Okay. I'm going to turn this into a composition. We can add the water line, the horizon line here. And this would be a triangular shape. If I wanted to emphasize that, I can put a little inso circle here. Show the sun. Take my fine line brush. I mean, my, um, sorry, my combination brush and get rid of even a little bit more of the color and paint a few clouds here. Rating out for my son. Okay. And I could put a mountain here, a soft mountain, using the same concentration of color. And my brush would not be upright like this, it would be to the side. I'm going to paint sideways here. Soft little dabs like that. And you want to start with the lighter color, lighter tone. And after you've painted it, you can come back in and say, oh, that's not dark enough for me. That's then um, go in and, and add a darker tone like medium ink and dab in your definite little definitions of your island structure here. And then you can let that dry a little bit and even darker. Okay. All right. And if you want to, you can add some black pine. Here's how to do the black pine. Okay. So here's my another piece of paper, and I'm going to demonstrate how to paint the black pine, right? So I take my brush and um, now I have uh, this with the uh, light, light tone. So I'm gonna clean my brush and dry my brush. Because I want to um, paint the trunk and I want the trunk to be darker. Okay, so my tree trunk is going to be like a long triangle, a long skinny triangle with the wider part at the bottom. Dry off my brush towards the, the handle, because that's where a lot of the water would be, right? For the reservoir, we don't want a whole lot of water. We want this to be a nice dark color. 
I'm going to start from the bottom or you can start from the top, however you want, whichever is easier for you. So if I start from the bottom, I have to press hard first and then lighten up. Like that, okay? If I start from the top, I need to start with a pointed tip and then press more as I get down. Okay, like that. So now I have my trunk and all I have to do is add the leaves. Now you can do this with black ink or you can lighten it up and paint your leaves uh, with a milder tone. And you just come right across your trunk and press. 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 So if you are uh, making your, your leaves more full on the left side, when you come higher, you want to make them a little bit fuller on the right side. So vary it. Okay. And then Bianca was asking, I think it was Bianca, how you do, how would you do the a fuller tree? Here's how you would do a fuller tree. So here. There's your tree shape, right? Take your brush and open it up, splay it like this. Dip it into your, your ink and you can even twist it. Let's see, press to get your, your tip wide and you can twist it like that. Now I wouldn't recommend you use your brand new brush to do this, right? You don't want to use, ruin your brand new brush and then tap. Okay. And there's your forest. Okay. And in five minutes time, you could have yourself a lovely little composition. Okay. I'll show you how to do the farmhouse. Pause for a minute. Okay, so I've got my brush and dipping it into black ink. And knowing that my structure is basically what we call a parallelogram, I think it's called a parallelogram, this shape. And then little lines coming down from that shape, right? So if you want to do it in outline form, that's all you have to do here. Here's your ground, right? And you can make a little triangle like that. There's your Japanese farmhouse. Do you want to paint this in in strokes? Just take your brush, side strokes like this. And then fine line brush. Come in here. There's your farmhouse. Okay. Very simple. Mount Fuji is next. Hold on for Mount Fuji. Here's Mount Fuji. I'm using my fine line brush, black ink. 
coming in doing shape like an upside down V. A little bit of a bite out of it because it's a volcano here. There's Mount Fuji. If you're going to get more detail on it, take your regular sized brush and come in with uh, different shades of ink and with it side brush. Come in and this is snow, right? So, and then this is the granite that you see. And some darker parts. And that's Mount Fuji. Okay. 